What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against this clan above and beyond CC, an American level 8 clan. Uh, they did use most of their attacks, gave it their best efforts. Hop on over and check it out. 1756, Invicta walks away with the victory. Um, like I mentioned, though, they did use 4950 attacks, gave it their all, so hats off for that. Um, they did get three on Alpha, missed Ice up there, and then quite a few of the nines. They really struggled on the nines, so that was their downfall. <clears throat> nice to see uh, a little bit of a bounce back war for Invicta here too. You know, they had a re couple really tough wars. Tough loss to Crystal Warrior and then immediately faced uh, a random matchup against a bunch of 0% attacks. We know how fun that is. So um, nice to get a bit of a relief war here and come away with a solid victory. Um, missed a few of the nines, so still a little bit to work on in there. Uh, but other than that, uh, really good job, Invicta. Uh, has some really nice replays in here to show. So I'm just going to hop right in and start off with Hinraka. He happened to be telling me how much he loves air attacks. Uh, in fact, he, all he ever does is air attacks. Um, so he really wanted me to show this replay because of that fact. Now, um, notice another thing here. No golems. <laughs> So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it is three lava hounds, uh, 15 balloons. Uh, the idea here is he wants to get um, the queen and the air defense and kind of all this jazz with this queen walk. So he steps in, takes out the air defense. Uh, now at some point he sends his king down here. Kind of strange. So draws the CC out, right? Poisons that up. <laughs> this kind of takes a bit to play out, but here we go. Here, There's the king. Just kind of walks the king around here. Opens up this wall. Like, this is just, it seemed like such genius to me. Um, opens up the wall. Here comes the queen. She's going to take out that king now. Like, look how much work she has done. This king's job is basically done. I think it was just to buy the queen uh, some time, take care of that king. Obviously, level 30 king. Uh, it's a big deal, but didn't even have to really hit the ability. Well, the bombs went off. So, yeah, good good call on hitting the ability. But look at that. Steps in, takes out that second air defense, and is about to step up into the range of this defensive archer queen. Uh, bam, bam, bam. She's going to go down in two more seconds. Look at the work that Archer Queen walked it or charge, I guess, right? It's awesome job, man. Just awesome job. So no golems on this attack. Two air defense are down. CC is dead. Defensive Queen is dead. A level 30 defensive queen is dead. Let's make that note as well. And a level 30 king. Huge piece of the base, like almost 50% of the base is destroyed already, but has a completely normal uh, shattered Lalo strat, even though he did not bring any golem. So uh, fantastic work with that. A uh, little bit of a queen charge uh, hand. Really sexy attack here, buddy. I was really impressed. Haste is down, balloons in all over this base. Like, it's GG. There's, there just does not stand a chance. That queen is still in there doing work. Full health. Still two balloons in the bag. Nice job, Hen. Just murdered this base. That is Tree Stars. Beautiful attack. I really like that attack. No golems. The yield no golem attack. McGravy stepping up here. <sighs> Brings a very standard Shattered Lalo. I love seeing this. But what I liked about this attack was he does not get what he really ideally needs to get with a Shattered Lalo. He misses an air defense. Um, but still just the, the deployment and just the way everything kind of worked out... Um, he kept on track and came away with the three here. So check this out. Normal entry, right? Uh, what I think caused him not to get the air defense was this Lava Hound. Uh, it just took the queen way too much time with that, even with the wizards helping out. Finally deal with all this crap. Then has the dark elixir storage and the gold storage and the other elixir storage all to worry about before she will get in range of that air defense. Um, so that ends up being the demise here. I swear, tell me that's the attack. Yeah, she's going to step out, take out this air defense. But I'm pretty confident in saying this air defense stays up. So um, to me, if I'm in that situation, I'm like, ah, shit. 
right? But you got to do what you got to do. So that's what McGrady does here. And I loved it because boom, just the deployment he had planned for it. This, this was supposed to be dead. So he's just pretending like it's dead at this point. Um, all the balloons, two in on each defense. Rage goes down and push everything so quickly on that first air defense. And as Lava Hounds have not taken a ton of damage, soaked up a few mines. That third Lava Hounds now in on the second remaining air defense. Continues with the balloon deployment, pushing everything around that haste. The Tesla Pops takes a little bit of time. Um, but I, what I did like is the haste pushed everything back over here. I believe that Cro Expo was grounded as well. Yeah, the X are they Expo's grounded? Yeah, they're totally grounded. So that is a huge advantage here too because those balloons over here would not have taken out that expo had it been set to air but boom haste i love the patience on the haste there too because it just pushed everything and threw it through like that must have been um a bit of an adjustment to your plan there mcgrady because i'm pretty confident saying that air defense was supposed to be down so you probably initially had planned to drop those hastes earlier but had a plan for it to just nice recovery man and if you didn't mean for that air defense to go down, my bad. But I know if I was planning the attack, I definitely would have hoped that both of those went down. And when that one didn't, you know, you, you tend to panic sometimes. Maybe you try and use spells to push things early. But just showed some nice patience there, buddy. It's Tree Stars in the bag. <clears throat> Another nice attack here, zero. Zero, I also got to say, I'm pretty sure I made a mistake uh, in a previous recap. I had said that zero was going up to Town Hall 10, and that is not the case. Um, just a max nine. And um, I'm pretty sure I was thinking of sword, but uh, either way, sorry, zero for making that error. Uh, but you bring a sexy attack, uh, done with these air attacks, right? Back to the standard, you know, queen walk with the shattered goho. Love to see that. Uh, jump, rage, two heals. Uh, I believe the rage is for, no, it's a very close, quick, close que uh, queen walk. Because as you can see, he's already started the funnel on the other side. One golem goes down there. He's going to drop another golem here in a moment. Kind of lead everything into this big, uh, uh, I think opens this wall and then jumps right into that queen chamber. Still only the one golem, I'm surprised. But wall breaker is in. Test is good. Two more to follow. Bam, open the wall. Queen is still doing work in there, right? Um, still has not burnt a rage, has not burnt an ability, and 33% of the base is down. So that is good news, obviously. Still a minute 40 to go here, longer than that. Uh, jump goes down. Uh, again, these Lava Hounds in the CC, uh, they're just a nuisance. Um, they, they, I don't know. They, they're obviously, there's very, you're limited with your CC options. We talked about this in our base building video, but, um, you know, these are good examples of basically all you can get from Lava Hound, in my opinion. Uh, it just takes time, uh, which can kill a rate sometimes. So don't get me wrong, it does work. Um, but as you can see here, it's not a big deal. King went in there, did the work anyways. Queen's down, everything's down. Does kind of sense some suicide hogs in on that DGB, but he's got a bunch coming in from this other side. Has one more heal that's going to go down kind of near these Teslas. Has a bunch of hogs in there with the King, too. Yeah, look at like. Base is done for, even though those pops still standing on that king. Really only two Teslas, a cannon, and an arch tower to go. Zero just ripped this base to shreds. Good, good value on that little kind of closed queen walk there. Tree stars in the bag once again. All right, let's hop to the bottom of the map. Graph is a newer name uh, to me, at least in Invictus. So um, I thought I'd check his attack out here. I thought it was really sexy little kind of queen walk with Valks, uh, only a cold blooded golem. I like seeing that. It says Strat. Uh, I still haven't even tried it. I use Valks a lot of my attacks, but um, I'm still looking for the base that I want to try this on. Um, basically, what the idea is you're going to send in a queen uh, walk or sort of charge. And you create one section of the funnel at the same time. And then you have a cold blooded golem. You drop some wizards on the other side to create the rest of the funnel. Uh, obviously, after the CC gets lured and all that jazz. And then you can send in a bunch of Valks with just a cold blooded golem. So you're not spending that extra 30 troop space on a second golem. Some, sometimes with Valks, like they're so tanky, you know, under heels, you don't even really need that second golem. They're going to get out ahead, anyways. 
Um, so here, exactly what I was saying, right? Cece's lured to that queen. She's doing her work down here by herself. Uh, this whole side is taken out, so there's no need to funnel on this side. You only need a hand, like one wizard and three minions he's got here, um, which is crazy again. He still has two wizards in a bag, uh, but doesn't need it. Just really needs to take care of that elixir storage, and he's going to send everything in the king and six Valks right in this compartment, jump on over uh, right to that queen. And he's laughing because this queen is going to continue to take out this bottom part of the base, and he's got 18 hogs. He's just going to feed in from the top here, I believe. So DGB is down. That is also bad news for this base. Oh, I was a little off on that jump placement. Um, he's going to get everything into this core because that queen's going to jump. Uh, see, that she's right against this wall, so she's going to jump into this compartment. So very smart jump placement there. Um, just leading everything into that Tesla trap too. I think he puts a heal down here for the, uh, no, he does not for the, uh, I, I probably would opt for a heal there just because all the Teslas, um, they're really doing work on all of those uh, uh, Valks and everything. Still has stuff in there doing work though. So um, drops a heal now for those hogs. A little bit off that uh, cannon yanks a couple hogs up, but no big deal. <clears throat> got a second heal is going to drop on really the only remaining section of this base, right? There's 30% to go. All defenses are down. Oh, sorry. There's that expo there, but no big deal. Clean up time. Good job, Graph. Treat stars in the bag. And I think I got one more here to show you. Glenn. I love this attack, Glenn. Um, no king. First of all, let's make a note of that. Generally, when you see guys with no king, uh, you'll see a Pekka or Valks um, to try and compensate for that king. Another way you can compensate for having no king is exactly what Glenn does here, especially in today's age of COC, where the extra 30 seconds is so overpowered. You can really take your time with these queen charges. And watch how this plays out. So the queen under the healer is like, like the golem, the damaging golem. Drops a, something to create a funnel on the outside. Is going to open up this wall. Charge this queen right in. Like I love this little earthquake. How you earthquake this pathway to just go straight across to the queen. Um, so she's going to walk in, take out this big section of the base, step in, take out the heroes, take out the clan castle, and then has 26 hogs for the back end. Um and really like just can sprinkle them in and you'll see you'll see how he plays this out um, but queen's in there doing work drops a couple hogs in while uh the queen is doing tanking too i thought that was really good uh three hogs just helping her along the way out comes that lava hound on the cc three hogs solo um perfect suicide hogs for that uh, dgb there as well uh this queen just doing crazy work she's gonna take out that lava hound take out the pups take out the heroes and then continue her way along this path. Um, but when you bring two rages for the queen like that, right? It, um, maybe it was at three. No, I dropped that had the earthquakes, uh, but still two rages for the queen. Uh, she's going to get really good value. You know, these, especially these heroes are not that high of a level. Like she ripped through that queen in three, four shots. Um, going to see it a little longer for this level 10 King here, but still like not going to stand a chance. Once that whiz tower goes down, I believe he locks on. Yeah, there he goes. But hogs are in. Look, sprinkling in on all these defenses. Bam, bam, bam. Still has 11 more to go for basically the rest of this base and a heal, keep in mind. Um, Queen is still just going to step in and continue to do work now that that king is down. Really being patient on these hogs. Just feeding them in, reinforcing. There we go. There's the last handful of hogs on the Wiz Tower uh, cannon. Just going to try and meet everything up in this section. Boom. There goes the heal. Everything kind of meeting up there. Wizard to back things up to. Great placement on that little cleanup wizard. Um, you know, everything just went right to plan on this raid. Absolutely loved it, Glenn. Down your king. Cleanup time. The queen charge is real, my friends. Queen charge is real. Bring your rages. Tree stars in the bag. Good job, Invicta. 
some really sexy attacks. See your guys really adapting to the update. Uh, it's really good, you know. Uh, see a little bit of, like I said, a bounce back war for you guys. And um, obviously, you know, those green stripes keep coming. So uh, we move forward. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a night here, though. Uh, I've got another recap to do. And uh, then head to bed. Uh, Finishing on my last days, like I mentioned, I got a new job coming up, so pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, so that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help a bag that next three star. Until then, I'm out.